In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Millwordy spreadsheet in Google Sheets, as was requested by my live stream attendees. As you can see here, I already did some pre-work. I have already highlighted and labeled the top row with months and the first column with days and the bottom row with gray to show that these will be the monthly totals. I am now selecting the cells for the days that do not exist in each month and am about to fill them in with black to make it clear at a glance. I am now copying the left day column and pasting it into my December sheet to save myself the work of having to redo the formatting. I am counting out the number of spaces I need to allow for five projects every day, the word counts, and a total column at the end of each day. I am labeling each column alternatively project and words. I'm resizing the word columns because they will only be numbers and don't need that wide a space. To create a drop down menu in Google Sheets, you go to the data menu and click data validation. And then you select show drop down list and cell, list of items, and you type in the items. And for example purposes, I am just saying projects A through H, and then you click save. I now copy and paste the drop down menu into every cell under projects in all the columns. To do the daily total, I click the equation sign and I go up to the menu and select sum and then it asks me to input the values. So I am inputting the values by name, which is letter and number or a column name and then row name for each cell. I could have also done this by clicking the cells, but I wanted to show you could do it both ways. I now copy and paste that equation down the rest of the column. Switching back to my overview sheet, I now have to bring in the daily totals from the December sheet to just December. So equal sheet name, which is December, exclamation point, and then the cell name is how you draw in something from another sheet and I pasted the formula into the rest of the column. I then duplicated the December sheet for the remaining 11 months and removed the rows for the days that don't exist within the shorter months. To get back to my overview, I click the menu icon at the far left next to the plus sign and I use the scrolling menu to click on the sheet that I wanted. To sum the column, I select the cell and then I click equal sign and then I select the suggested equation from Google Sheets, which does not happen in numbers. I then repeat pulling in the data from the other sheets in the different columns and summing each column the way I just showed you. To create a graph, I select the top left corner of the data and then I click and drag to the bottom right corner. I then click insert graph from the top menu. You double click it, you get the settings, and if you right click it, you can also get the settings, or if you click the three dots next to the graph. To name the x-axis, I click the grid that comes up and I highlight the cells that will be the names. You can't make an interactive graph on Google Sheets, so we are jumping right to the monthly total comparison bar graph. I select the bottom row by clicking the first cell and then dragging to the far right and then I insert a graph again. This time though it is going to be a bar graph. As you can see there are a lot fewer design options in Google Sheets but you can still create a pretty effective Millwordy spreadsheet in this software. I will be making a, another tutorial on how to do it in Microsoft Excel and it is pretty similar to Google Sheets. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon down below. I make videos about musical theater, my writing, and I host writing sprints on Sundays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.